Hi everyone, it's Miss Tara from the Northwest Library and I'm here to share with you a few of my favorite picture books. We're going to start off here with I Love You Blue about a little boy who is out on his boat enjoying the beautiful weather when up pops a storm and mayday, mayday, he needs some help but there's nobody there to help him. And an unlikely new friend helps the little boy and saves his life and they become good friends and they start to do things together and they start to hang out. But one day Whale doesn't feel very well and the little boy says, open your mouth and say, ah. <clears throat> so the whale opens his mouth and it's full of plastic. So the little boy has to figure out how to make his new friend healthy again. So we want to get this book, I Love You Blue, to find out how he fix Whale's stomach and how this friendship continues. My next book is Chirp. Everybody knows how much I love birds, so this is a new favorite. This is by Mary Murphy. Great book for somebody who is just learning to read. Um, there's not very many difficult words in here. We have a heron. It has been a quiet night in the river. The heron watches as the last stars fade. Then the forest wakes up and Chirp says the sparrow. And Tink, tink, says the finch. And ta-la-la, sings the swallow. There goes the moon. And this goes through lots of birds. Um, even maybe one or two you've heard down on the farm. All right, so good book. Bright, colorful illustrations. Lots of fun. Great for a new reader. This book here is probably one of my new favorites. It's called Once Upon a Forest, and it is a wordless picture book. Wordless picture books are excellent for um, young children because you can open it up, have them look at the pictures, and have them tell you what's happening and what the story is about, and have them go from page to page and tell you what's happening. This helps them create narrative skills, which is one of the skills that they need um, as they're entering kindergarten. So we have a friend here. We I don't know what kind of animal he is. And you ask your kids what's happening. So I will say it is about a forest fire and kind of what happens. He gathers some friends and he helps them, helps with the fire. Um, and then it continues through the year on how he helps um, the forest flourish again. So. I love wordless picture books. If you're looking for more wordless picture books, just ask any of your librarians and we will help you find some more. This book is really silly. It's kind of a laugh out loud. The runaway pea washed away. So all the dishes are done and um, they're getting ready to pull the plug in the sink. Great rhyming words in here. Another skill your kids need for kindergarten. And um, he slips down the sink and is washed away into the pipes. He finds a new friend. Don't know what his new friend is. And then he ends up outside. So he has new adventures ahead of him and you'll have to get this book to see how those adventures end. It is really silly to think of a piece of food being washed down the drain and what happens to them. So this is the runaway pea washed away silly book <coughs> excuse me apple and magnolia by laura gale and patricia melatola is about two trees an apple tree and a magnolia tree and it's about a little girl named britta who has two favorite trees the apple tree and the magnolia tree and she thinks the trees are best friends uh, she can't explain why the adults in her life say trees can't be best friends, um, but she thinks differently. And one day, one of the leaves start to fall off the trees, and um, you know her her dad says trees can't help each other survive, um, but the little girl thinks they can, and so she helps uh, knit a sweater for the tree over the winter. Um, and she connects them with string and cups. And um, I'd say read this book. It's interesting. It's a little bit more vocabulary, some harder words. Um, Mom and Dad are probably going to help to help with this one. Um, but it's a cute story about a little girl who loves her apple and magnolia tree. 
This one is Ruby's Reunion Day Dinner by Angela Dalton. And this is Ruby, and they're getting ready for a big family reunion. And all the adults are in the kitchen, and they're making different foods. Um, grocery bags rustle, pots and pans clatter, and the room quakes with laughter as my family gathers in Grammy and Pop Pop's kitchen to make re reunion day dinner. And she asks her mama, I want to help. I want to do something. I want to make something. And she goes, well, what do you want to do? You're too young to make this, and you're too young to make that. And then she says the same thing to her grandmother and her aunts and her uncles. And they say, you have to be bigger to use the stove um, and bigger to use the knives. Um, and she gets a little frustrated. But in the end, she remembers... There are lemon trees in the backyard. And can you guess what she makes for reunion day? So good book about being patient and uh, maybe not wanting to grow up too fast. So cute book. This is probably my one of my second favorite. This book is hysterical. This is called Fluffy McWhiskers Cuteness Explosion. And this is Fluffy McWhiskers and he is so cute that every time somebody sees him, they explode because he's just so cute. So Fluffy McWhiskers is cute, so cute it's dangerous. If you see her, you can't help it, but you explode. Kaboom! Can such a dangerously cute cat ever find a friend? So they go through the book and yay, there's a new friend, Lion. But Lion sees the cat and kaboom, he explodes. And then same thing happens to elephant and snake and all these other animals. He tries disguises. He tries to look uglier. He tries not to be the cutest anymore. But the whole city goes up and kaboom. So he goes to an island all by himself where he can't kaboom anybody else. But he might find a friend there. So you'll have to get this book and read it to find out if he finds a friend on that island. So this is Fluffy Mick Whiskers. And then my last book is kind of like a positive message book. It's called If You Live Here, uh, written by Kate Gardner. I love the tree house and all the colors and the illustrations. It says, have you ever imagined what it would be like to live in a tree house, underground, in a castle, or even on a spaceship? So if you live in a tree house, you'll need to be a good listener. All right, and if you live on a spaceship, you'll need to keep curious for there is wonder all around. So, and if you live on a train, you know that everything changes because you're bustling by things. So this is just fun. If you live on a castle, the view is better when shared with friends. If you live in a garden, if you live in a skyscraper, if you live in a submarine. So just kind of a cute message, um, positive message. So those are the books that I have for this month and I can't wait to share with you what I have for next month. So I will see you guys next time. If you want any of these titles, give us a call or go online and we'll get them for you. Thanks so much, bye.